case. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the Warrior Alchemist. And today's topic for the occult family is called Destroy All Monsters. What is a monster? Well, the second definition from the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary if you don't have it, you can always download the app from your iPhone or your Google Play Store. The second definition is a threatening force. If you are a threatening force, then you are a monster. I'm a monster. You're a monster. A monster is someone from the occult perspective, which is by myself being a cultist, this is what I deal with. A monster is someone that wants to take back their existence. So when you want to take back your existence and exemplify humanity and transmogrify and reclaim your God or goddesshood, that makes you a monster. And no matter how many novels you have read from Edgar Allan Poe, etc., even to Anne Rice or even some of the Twilight novels, we cannot have monsters roaming the quiet countryside. What's going on here? Why are many people in your family or your co-workers Falling for the same scam. You know, the scam that they do with the first this, the first that. Obama, the first African-American president. Or Kamala Harris, the first African-American. Oh, I'm sorry. Now she's the first woman of color vice president. They're always going to give you the first this, the first that. Someone who is a monster. You don't look for a savior. You are your own salvation. You don't look for that. But I know. You know, because many people and what they won't tell you is that. If they vote for somebody or they become a participant in this farce then they can have someone to blame. I've even had this pointed in my direction. Well, you know, people would, who fought and paved the way, they would be so disappointed by you not voting. Here's how you can reverse that logic. So, if you voted and the words that they had put forth to you are empty and they don't carry weight, so... Whose responsibility is that? See, the monster wants to be sovereign. That's what they want to be. They want to be sovereign. They don't look for salvation in some first woman, first transgender, first African American, this, first Latina, first Native American. They don't look for that. What you have to understand is that anyone who comes into that matrix will be absorbed by it. You cannot change the system from within. Don't you ever, ever think that you can. You cannot. America is on its way down. And as I said in the previous video, what Lucifer and Michael both communicated to me, it's going to get worse. Let me say this to you, that there's a so-called strain now of the COVID-19. Hmm. And now they want you to wear a specific mask or even two masks. Did you ever ask why? Let me tell you from an occult perspective. The reason that this is happening is that we only use maybe 7% of our breathing capacity. 
breath is something that you need, especially when you are trying to raise your red and your black kundalini. I want to make that clear. Anytime that you are trying to ascend, you need breath. You breathe out of your nose and your mouth. So that's very important that you remember that. And with everything that's going on, you have to know how to decode certain messages when you look at the news. Oh, Dr. Anthony Fauci, who served under Donald J. Trump, and then he got summarily dismissed, and now he's with Joe Biden. The same Joe Biden, if we're counting this year, he's had 45 years in politics. Nancy Pelosi, this will be her 33rd year. Chuck Schumer, 39. Tell me whether they're done. Thank you. And with that said, this is a game because you are not supposed to elevate. You are not supposed to go to the next level. It's going to be more than just reading books, taking cultural hodges, having melanin. You're going to have to get your hands dirty. And you are going to have to raise to the next level. Yes, it's going to be painful. Yes, it's going to be lonely. And give up on this. This is over with. Period. This exercise in America is over. It is a failed experiment. And I would never say that I am a proponent of nihilism. But there's a new movie that will be coming out sometime this year. Godzilla versus Kong. They're monsters. But let me say this. What was the race that preceded the so-called gods? It was Titans. And what taught Titans humanity and morality was their so-called human creations. See, Godzilla just does what he wants to do. Kong did that until he developed an affection for humanity. As well as Rodan, who ruled the skies. So, are you a monster? I know I'm a monster. I have no problem with that. I'm a threat and I'm a force to be reckoned with. So... Are you a force to be reckoned with? Only you can decide. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I'm the water alchemist. You water, my friend. Peace.